Hi, in this video I'll talk about the dimensional formulae for physical quantities and how to find them. Let's take a sample question as shown on the screen. Find the dimensional formula for velocity, acceleration and force. Let's first look at an animation. So there's a block moving from left to right. There's a starting point which is a yellow line, there's an end point which is a green line and the block covers a certain displacement s in a time duration and there are various parameters at the start and in the end. Let's start with velocity. Velocity is a displacement by time. The displacement is measured in terms of length dimension. So write that in the numerator. The denominator remains as a time dimension. That's a fundamental unit. So velocity gets expressed as L by T or L T to the power minus 1. So now you have got the hang of how to make the dimensional formulae. Let's take the case of acceleration. Acceleration is change in velocity by time duration. The change in velocity still retains the same dimensions or units as velocity. So that doesn't change. So in the numerator, write velocity dimension. Denominator, write time dimension. So that becomes L by T divided by T or L by T squared or L T to the power minus 2. So you have seen one more example. Let's look at force. Force is mass into acceleration. That's the equation. Mass is a fundamental SI unit. So F is equal to capital M. And for acceleration, plug in L by T squared, which we found in the previous slide. So that becomes M into L into T to the power minus 2. So in this way, as long as we understand the equation for a physical quantity, we can write down its dimensions. I hope this video was useful to you. Thanks and have a great day.